Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Saturday, <laughs> tomorrow is Father's Day. Um, and I decided to vlog today. I had some vlog footage on my memory card and one of my dogs got to it. So that all, all that footage is scratched. Note to self, do not leave your um, memory card out for your dogs to destroy it. But Penelope is still sleeping and it is 9.37, she did like an eight and a half hour stretch and then I fed her and put her back down because I wasn't ready to get up. But now I have to get her up because I am getting back to work eventually and I can't have her sleeping in this late. Um, usually at this age, they say for the baby to sleep around 10 hours. It's been 11, so she needs to get up. Um, but it did feel good to sleep in to 9.30. That was great. I don't I don't want to pump if you're gonna wake up now my boobs need your attention what if mommy gets you out of this comfy <laughs> swaddle <laughs> hello Penelope good morning my love <laughs> Wait, let me grab this on. Oh, you smell so good. I can smell you. Hi, Mama. Good morning. Did you sleep amazing? <laughs> Hello, Oliver. <laughs> she might be a little cranky because I woke her up, but usually when she wakes up for the day, she's all smiles. Right, baby? Say, I wasn't ready, Mom. Let me turn off the outlet. Good morning. I did want to mention that I had mentioned this um, like fake DACA tot on my Instagram and a bunch of you messaged me for the link um, because I can't do swipe up. So I just wanted to quickly let you guys know, just be careful when you're putting things in the bassinet. Obviously, you're not supposed to have anything in the bassinet for safest sleep. Um, and I just didn't want to be responsible. God forbid something happened. But, you know, obviously you have to do your research on things like this. It is meant for a bassinet and it is breathable. But just so you know, um, I tried to actually have her not sleep in it last night and she was all over the place. So for me, it just works because she's a very like all over the place sleeper. She's so all over the place that I have this head pillow here that I usually put under her head and she will literally kick so hard that she just slides off of it. So I had to remove it like halfway through the night. I try to put it under her head because I don't want her to get flat head and it has been helping. The doctor said her hair, her head looks great. Not that it was ever an issue, but just trying to prevent it. Are we ready to go change your diaper? Are you still stretching? She's like, give me a minute, mom. I'm sure this angle is just lovely, but um, I wanted to update you guys on my breastfeeding and everything like that. Um, I did just do a breastfeeding essentials video, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll have it linked up on the screen and down below. So, um, recently I've been pumping again, which is a huge change just because, one, it's so time-consuming, um, and two, it it meant, or for me, it meant that there was a dip in my supply, so I had to start pumping, um, which I didn't think was going to happen just because I had so much milk when I came home from the hospital because I was pumping in the hospital and because my milk came in full force. It was great. Um, and recently, I feel like because she's getting bigger, obviously, and she's wanting to eat more, I just wasn't producing enough for her, so she was getting frustrated with me. Um, I was getting frustrated because I was like, I don't understand what's wrong. And then it kind of clicked to me that she's probably just wanting more milk because she would latch and suck. And then she would be like, she would turn her head and be over it. And I'm like, but you're hungry. So why aren't you just eating? And I'm like, and then I put it together and I realized that there's probably just not enough milk coming out for her. And so once she's sucking and there's not a, like much coming out, she's like, I'm over this. <laughs> like, Give me something else. Obviously, I share my experiences with you guys so that you got if it happens to you guys like, you know, you're aware or prepared or anything like that. But basically what I'm doing now is 
um, or originally what I was doing when I realized it is I would pump after every single feeding session from four o'clock on because um, that's when I felt like my milk supply started to dip because in the morning I'm engorged and I'm full of milk because, you know, she sleeps through the night now and my body has adjusted, but not 100%, that's for sure. I'm still very full in the morning, which I'm actually okay with as long as I don't get mastitis or anything crazy um, because she's hungrier in the morning, obviously, because she's sleeping longer stretches. So she does tend to pretty much drain me. Like my boob was rock hard just now and I am pretty much soft again or almost there. Um, oh, I forgot to put the timer for the feeding. I was just gonna say, I wonder how long she's been eating. Okay, I'm gonna burp you and then we'll continue on. Um, so, let me put my timer though because I, I like to time these. So, oh, is that a burp? Good for you, beautiful. So what was I saying? <laughs> That's when my milk supply started to dip in the morning. I still have a lot of milk, which I like because like I said, she's hungry in the morning. Um, and then it pretty much is good until the afternoon into the evening. So that was happening. I did it basically for a week, a little over a week until I finally felt like I was at a good place. Um, and even now I'm not producing like a ton of milk at that time, but it's enough for her, which is important um to me because you also don't want to overproduce because then you can run into other kind of issues so that i did that for an entire week hi beautiful girl you hear mama's voice you laughing she's so cute why are you so cute is there a reason i just don't understand you're such a big girl now why your eyes look like that? <laughs> um so that helped and now to keep up my supply because obviously I don't want to lose my supply or have to go through that again I do a pump session in the morning and I do one pump at night the one pump session is right after I feed her because I don't want to lose this morning milk supply either um, so I'll do like a pump session right after I feed her but it's important for me to keep my milk supply up so that's what I've been doing I've been pumping right after I feed her in the morning and then at night I've actually been giving her a bottle for a couple reasons she was introduced to bottles before, but one of the reasons I've been giving her a bottle at night is I have to go back to work soon and I do want her to get used to the bottle. That's number one. Um, also, I need to know how many ounces she's drinking so I know how many ounces to give her um, in her bottles for when she does, um, what's it called? Not when she goes to daycare, but she's. I think I'm going to have her with a... Um, a person like an individual person instead of a daycare because especially with all this going on which I will go into in another video for you guys about like daycare and like what I'm doing and when I'm going back to work and all that but that was another reason and then um, I also just felt like at night she's just cranky and she's ready for bed and it was kind of getting it was it was kind of like a mission to just feed her before bed and I wanted to make sure that she was getting a nice full belly before bed instead of kind of fighting with her on my boob for however many minutes she was eating. So we decided to start, well I decided to start giving her a bottle. My husband gives it to her and I pump during that time. So while he's giving her the bottle, I pump. And it's just like a more relaxing experience because although I hate pumping, um, I know that she's calm and she's getting her a good bottle before bed. So that's what we've been doing with that. So anyway, that's my whole spiel. How long have I been talking? Eight minutes. Wonderful. Can't wait to edit that um, rambly kind of talk. But I had recorded this and then, like I said, the memory card got damaged. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys to know what's going on. Um, I'm also not using my haka anymore because, as you can see now, she's eating on both sides. When I first brought her home, I could barely even ha get her on one side for four minutes just because she would get full so quickly. My milk was... You know, I had a lot of milk and she was just so tiny. She was not even five pounds. So because of that, you know, she would just get full really quickly. So I would have the haka on one side and collect all that extra milk. And now she wants it all. So um, for the most part, I'm almost always feeding her on both sides. So yeah, I think that's like my breastfeeding update. Things I've been doing just to up my supply. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a separate video on that. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But basically, I've just been drinking a ton of water. Um, I have my water jug actually in the bedroom because I had it last night with me, but I drink four of them a day. Um, I have a lactation tea in the morning and I'm doing oatmeal every single morning. 
um, because supposedly those things are supposed to help. And I think they have been. I, I don't see like my it's not like I go to pump and I get full bottles every time because if that, if that was the case, then I'd be like, oh, my God, these things all work. This is crazy. But I do feel like being hydrated definitely helps because you need water to produce breast milk. Um, and I don't know about the oatmeal and the teas, but I have it. So I just, I've been eating them and drinking them just to see. And yeah, I think that's really all I've been doing to up my supply. Um, the, and the, obviously the pumping, the pumping is the biggest part. I think if you're trying to pump, then the two, I mean, trying to up your supply, the two biggest things I would say, pump, power pump or pump after every feeding session, which if you don't know what power pumping is. Um, I'll leave like a link down below, but it's basically like pumping for, I think it's like an hour where you pump like every 10 minutes out of your day, you t you choose an hour out of your day and pump every 10 minutes for that hour as if like the baby was cluster feeding. That's supposed to help too. I didn't do that. I just pumped after every feeding, like I said, from the four o'clock on when my milk would usually drop. Um, and then just drinking a ton of water. Those, th those two things I would just say. If you're trying to up your supply do those so anyway um definitely wanted to let you guys know about that in this vlog but today we're not really doing anything crazy tomorrow's father's day i had bought a bunch of stuff from nick for nick um throughout like this past month just random things off amazon he's really hard to shop for so i basically just bought him like a bunch of random things like a dad mug like a dad t-shirt these adidas pants that he wears all the time i just got them in a different color for him an electric razor because his is kind of like on the outs just like random stuff but you know quarantine can't really go anywhere and choose anything cool anyway but thank god for the internet because i can at least buy things online so yeah that's all done tomorrow I'll probably go to his brother-in-law's house i mean his brother's house my brother-in-law's house because there's really not much many other places we can go anyway but um yeah, I don't think I'm doing much today. I do want to film because my second video of the week, which is going to be a vlog, actually, like I said, got deleted on that memory card. So I'm going to film P's three month update since I have to film it anyway. <laughs> So this is what I got from this pumping session. So two ounces on each side. So I'm gonna total that up four ounces, obviously, and put it in a bottle for pee tonight, um, or actually tomorrow night, because I have her bottle already ready. And I have some extra milk actually here. So, so I'm gonna add a little bit extra from here for her bottle for tonight. And then, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to start freezing some milk because now I'm making more than I was before before I was only making enough to give her like a bottle for the night when my milk supply was low from what I was pumping throughout the day because you have to remember I'm pumping after I feed her so my boobs are already like almost depleted or depleted and then I'm just trying to pump to stimulate my boob to make sure that it goes the you know the message goes to my brain that I need to come um that I need to produce more milk. So I really was only getting like half an ounce here and there. And then obviously I started to produce more as I started to pump. And then I added my morning session pump, which is obviously the most milk of the day because I hadn't you know, been pumping or feeding her at night. I feed her, she eats really good in the morning and then I pump. So I think I'm gonna have to start freezing milk again, um, which is fine. I just, I have a lot of milk already in my freezer and I'm, I just feel like it's an overkill to have too many or too much of a stash of milk. Um, so I don't know. That's what I think I'm going to do. But just wanted to show you guys that at night, obviously, I'm going to get a little bit less because it's the evening and that's when my milk supply isn't at its peak. It's the morning is when it's at its peak. So anyway, now that she's down for her nap, I'm going to put these bottles away, clean up a little bit. I'm going to shower, I'm going to eat breakfast, I'm going to do all these things that I can do now for this hour nap because her nap in the morning, her first nap of the morning is always at least an hour, sometimes a little over for the most part an hour, um, but I know I get that one hour to do what I got to do because other than that, her next nap is, is mostly an hour, but then after that it's kind of like hit or miss, it depends, sometimes it's 45 minutes, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes I have to constantly go in the room, we're still working on naps. The other thing that I wanted to tell you guys was... I am starting to try to get her on a better schedule for nighttime, so that's been a little bit of a process. She is still technically sleeping through the night, but 
I'm trying to get her to bed a little bit earlier because again, I'm trying to prep her for when I have to go back to work. So getting her to bed a little bit earlier is gonna help because I'm gonna have to get her up earlier to get her out the door with me so I can get to work on time. Working on that, I'll update you guys on that. I always update you guys on like my sleep journey things. Any, anything with her, I pretty much update you guys with, but like sleep journey wise, and obviously I'm updating you guys on my breast milk supply. So I'm gonna get all that stuff done now before she wakes up because an hour goes so quickly, goes so quickly. So this is a look. I decided to do some extractions before I went in the shower. Um, which is now resulting in this mask because I went to town on my nose and now I have a bruise on my nose I keep doing that. I just cannot help when I feel blackheads. I can't wait till I can go get a real facial again I really really need one. But yeah, I decided to just do a mask um, While P is still sleeping. I have my oatmeal here. I'm gonna eat this I'm going to drink my jug of water and I'm gonna just pay some bills while I have the time because I was going to film later today, um, her three month update, but I just ordered my new SD card. This is my old one that was destroyed by my dogs. Um, and it's gonna come here on Sunday, so I figure I could just film Monday and I'll put this vlog up for this week instead. Mainly because my SD card that I'm using right now sucks. It's, it fills super quickly, so if I have to film a sit down video, I'm sure I'm gonna get frustrated because I'm gonna have to constantly be stopping to import footage to then continue my um, video. And once I'm sitting, I need to be like sitting in the same spot the entire video or it drives me crazy. And that can get messed up if I keep getting up. So anyway, I don't know if you guys need to know all that, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually surprised that she's not freaking out because I still have that mask on. I have to wash it off. Right? Mommy doesn't look scary? You still know it's mommy from my voice. You still know it's mama? Yeah. <laughs> Let's change your diaper, you cutie. So the window's behind me, so the lighting's gonna be a little bit off, but um, I did tell you guys on my Instagram that I just changed Penelope out of the Huggies into Pampers, so I wanted to tell you guys too, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me because I always, you know, tell you guys things like that, and I also just got introduced introduced to this brand called Made Of, um, and they're all plant-based, the most natural um, baby care that you can get on the market, so I thought that was cool too. I just used some diaper rash, diaper rash cream on her. That's why it's all like squeezed out. But I like their products so far so good. And I like that everything is natural. That's just like really good to know. So anyway, the diapers. I'm bent over because my tripod only goes so high. This is my like, handheld one. Right? You think it, now you see mommy's scary face? It's mama. It's mama, don't worry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I originally had her in Huggies. These are the Huggies little snugglers. Supposedly these are better when they're older. Um, I got I had her in these in newborns and I had him I had the size one. But she was just having explosions way too often. It went from like once in a while to all the time. And it just was not cool. Like I was over it. So I actually bought these by accident because I thought these were the wipes because I use the Pampers Aqua Pure wipes. Um, so I bought the Aqua Pure or the Pure diapers by Pampers. And I was like, well, I have them. So let me try them. And I tried them and oh my God, they work so good. I was thinking about switching them anyway because of the blowouts, but I didn't know, you know, which ones I was going to switch her to. These are so good. I think they're good for babies that aren't super, super chunky. Like if you guys can see, she doesn't have like super, super chunky legs. They're kind of average, um, but it just keeps everything nice and tight and in there. Like she hasn't had one 
explosion since I switched. Not one. Like, she's had blowouts where they go all the way up to her back, but they don't even come out because these diapers are so good. I love them so much. So I do think diapers are individual to, like, the baby. But, um, yeah, I just figured I'd mention it just, just in case. I look so crazy. I need to take this mask off. But I don't think I'm going to put on makeup today, guys, because I'm not going to film. And I just... It's really no point. I know I'm vlogging and that's considered filming, but you know, real life, I don't always put on makeup. Say, I'm a big girl now. I'm so big. Tell them. Are you hungry? Are you ready to eat? You ready to eat my beautiful pea? Let's go eat. I need a bib because she spit up on the other one. So I'll grab the bib, grab her passy. Ooh, good for you. Good for you, girl. And then I need to grab a burp cloth, but I have them in the living room. So I'm just going to feed her. <laughs> All right, so I was singing to her a little bit, and she is knocked out. So we're a little early to her next nap. Her next nap is in like 20 more minutes so i'm just gonna put her down 20 minutes early usually what happens when i do do this is that it results in a shorter nap so i'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen but as long as she stays up at least an hour and 10 which is usually the window for her age like it should be like between like 70 75 minutes to up to two hours there they can stay awake before going down um and everything is kind of you know it doesn't have to be exactly like that like you know, do whatever is best for you, but I kind of try to follow that schedule as best as I can. Um, but she's tired. She was acting a little cranky too, so I could tell that she was just not feeling it. So I'm going to put her down a little early from her nap, and then we'll see if she actually stays napping um, for the good hour that she usually does, because she does usually do an hour. Okay, so she's knocked out. So we're going to put on the monitor, see how long she stays sleeping, but she's knocked out <laughs> she was tired um so i'm gonna probably clean up a little bit still have to clean my pump parts from this morning oh my god and i forgot about my tea it happens with tea too just n not just with coffee you know everyone says like when you're a mom your coffee you have to warm it up like a hundred times i'm gonna drink that tea actually um that's the lactation tea oh i'll show you guys what kind of tea that is it's this one I just try to come over here where the natural light is better so that you guys can see but this one is the organic mother's milk um, promotes healthy lactation original with fennel and fenugreek fenugreek is something that's supposed to help a lot with lactation um, and since this tea was highly rated I decided to get the tea but now that I think about it if I once I'm done with these teas if I decide that I want to take a supplement I'm just gonna buy the actual pills because I actually I enjoy having my coffee in the morning I don't really want a tea and it takes two seconds to take a pill I didn't think about that and then on top of that I was reading which I should have read before I ordered them um, they say to take three to five cups of them per day who is drinking five cups of tea a day like what so what I do is I have a double bag that's why I don't know if you guys saw I had two baggies in that one and then sometimes I'll try to have like an extra cup so I mix the three um later like in the later in the day but it's like ridiculous who is gonna have that many cups of tea throughout the day so wish i thought about that another thing with fenugreek um that i heard is that it could actually do the opposite and uh, make your milk supply worse or lessen so just do your research um but i haven't had that issue i feel like my milk supply has been great and at this point i'm just kind of taking it or great now it's great now but at this point i'm just taking it because i bought it and i have a bunch of these i bought like i didn't even realize <laughs> you know when you're just on amazon and you're just like putting things in your cart. i think i put like a pack of like six of these in my cart so i have like five more of these to go through because i just went through one and yeah i don't know if i'm gonna add any more to this vlog just because i kind of just wanted to really update you guys on my milk situation um show you guys pee obviously because she's getting so big but i want to update you guys on her in her three month update and we're not gonna really be doing much the rest of the day. So I won't be vlogging on Father's Day just like I did it on Mother's Day just because when I'm with my husband, he he's just so not into being in the camera and, and on picture in pictures, like he doesn't even like taking pictures. So when I'm with him, I try not to vlog. I kind of just try to vlog just me and P. So 
um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to just end the video here. I'm sure it's long enough because I'm a blabbering kind of person. I just talk too much in these vlogs and they end up being 45 minutes long and it's ridiculous. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope that you enjoyed today's little vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.